Hello everyone, my name is Pris from Pris Peruses and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about some of my favorite books from my childhood. As most of you know, I am from the Netherlands, I am a Dutchie, and these books that I'm going to be talking about are all in Dutch. However, I will do my best to translate the titles and tell you what the books are about. These are the books I grew up with because I have been a reader for most of my life. Let's get into some of these books. I want to start off when I was very, very young and I was obsessed with the books of Pinkelture. My mother used to read these to me and I was just obsessed. This is all about a tiny, tiny leprechaun and he gets himself into all sorts of troubles and adventures. This is the book that I have now. The rest of the series is at my mom's house because there are so, so many books in this series. Like he goes on all sorts of adventures and it's just, it was incredible. Like I loved this so much when my mother used to read these to me. There are actually quite short stories they also have some little illustrations here and there. I was just so in love with this. As you can see, the pages are all like yellowish and all. These books have been so loved. He makes friends and he gets in all sorts of trouble along the way. He goes to zoos, he goes to theme parks. Like he's been everywhere at this point. It's just been such a good way to grow up with this little leprechaun because I, I adored him. Next up we have Otje by Annie M.K. Schmidt. This is one of Annie M.K. Schmidt's books that I love the most. There are many, many books of her. She is probably the most, most famous children's author that we have in the Netherlands, like quite young children audience. She unfortunately has passed away but she was an incredible, incredible person and she just wrote so many books that I absolutely, absolutely enjoyed. She wrote A Puck from the Petaflat, she wrote Flodder and she wrote Otje, which I just honestly loved so, so much. She also wrote Jip and Janneke, which I know many, many Dutchies will know these books by heart. Um, but yeah, Otje was about this girl that has a dad that is a cook in this restaurant and she goes on adventures with her friends and she gets herself in all sorts of trouble. It was just such a good time reading this. These are also quite short stories. They have like these wonderful, wonderful illustrations by Fiep Westendorp because Fiep Westendorp, she illustrated all Annie M.G. Smith's books so they were just absolutely fantastic. I grew up with these books. I know many of you um, grew up with Yip and Janneke. It was just the ultimate bedtime stories as well. And it was just such a good time. And I love these books with all of my heart. Next up, we have The Oerlijke Tweeling by Arya Peters. This translates, I think, into The Quirky Twins. I think that's the way to go. This is about two girls, twins. They're called Thelma and Alice. And they get themselves in all sorts of trouble. They look exactly alike down to the last freckle. So they switch places all the time. They go on holidays where they get themselves in all sorts of trouble. And honestly, this was just so good. This book I read when I was a little bit older, when I could read by myself. And this was just such a good time. Next up, we have Het Grote Boek van Madelief, which translates to The Big Book of Madelief. These stories are also quite, quite short. This is all about Madelief. She lives in this town and she makes friends with the kids in her neighborhood. And they get themselves in all sorts of trouble again because, you know, it's fun. You know, you want to read about these children who are kind of naughty and they get themselves in all sorts of trouble. They invent games. They do experiments with each other. These stories are quite short. It also has some uh, illustrations as well, like really, really simple ones. Um, but yeah, I was obsessed with this book. I read this so many times 
and it was such a good time. Next up we have a book that's actually not Dutch but I also read because it got translated into Dutch and that is Matilda by Roald Dahl. We all know and love this book, okay? This is about Matilda, a girl who is obsessed with books, so I very much related to her. She comes from an awful family and then she discovers that she has some magical powers. And honestly, we all know and love Matilda, didn't we? It is just such a good story. And I read this book many, many times. It's not a Dutch book, but I did read it in Dutch. I also, last year, I think, read it for the first time in English, which was a very, very good time. But yeah, I highly recommend this. Next up, we have some books that I read when I was a teenager. These are books that I think many, many of you are going to know if you are from the Netherlands. Because this is going to be a throwback, guys. This is going to be a throwback. Because the next series is the Who Overlevik series, which translates into the How Do I Survive series. I was so obsessed with these books. Like, you would know. I would reread, reread, reread. Wow, this was just incredible. We have many, many books of them. Like, we have Who Overleef Ik de Brug Class, which translates into How Do I Survive the First Year in High School. Then we have Who Overleef Ik Myself, How Do I Survive Myself. We have Who Overleef Ik Met en Zonder Vrienden, which translates into How Do I Survive With or Without My Friends. And we have Who Overleef Ik Mijn Eerste Zoon, which translates into How Do I Survive My First Kiss. Then we have Who Overleef Ik Een Gebroken Hart, which translates into how do I survive a broken heart? Then we have Who Overleef Ik My Vriendje, which translates into How do I survive my boyfriend? Next up we have Who Overleef Ik Met of Sonder Jou, which translates into How do I survive with or without you? Then we have Who Overleef Ik Mijn Ouders, which translates into How do I survive my parents? These books are so, so important, I think, because it really helped me through a difficult time because puberty was not a good time for me. I got severely bullied while I was in high school. These books were just incredible. They come with all sorts of survival tips for like puberty and stuff. And they deal with some heavy topics as well. But also like shaving for the first time and using deodorant and getting your period and getting your first boyfriend, your first kiss. They also touch up on bullying in school. So these books were so very, very important to me and I really, really enjoyed them. I think every girl, every teenage girl in the Netherlands had read, has read these. These were so incredibly popular and... I just hold them very dearly. I will never ever get rid of these because they mean the world to me. Next up, we have Blauwe Plekken, which translates into bruises. This is a very, very hard hitting story about a girl who gets abused at home by her mother. She makes a new friend at school and it's honestly a really, really hard hitting story because in the beginning she does not tell him. She shows up at school with all of these bruises all the time. So people get suspicious about it. The fact that her mother does beat her has to do with some things in the past as well, which all gets like revealed. This was very, very hard hitting, but also incredibly beautiful because the friendship between the two of them, between her and this new boy, is just really, really, really beautiful. I really, really like this. Next up, we have another author, which I know many, many Dutchies will know and love, and who also had an incredible, incredible impact on my teenage years, which are the books from Kari Slay. These books are quite the same as the How Do I Survive books, but they are a little bit darker. They deal with such heavy topics like eating disorders, drugs, bullying, but also um, loss of loved ones. They deal with sexual harassment. Um, so it can get quite intense. So these are mostly like for like older teenagers, I would say, like when you are 15, 16. I read these all, they were all incredible. We have Pine Stillers, which translates into painkillers. 
This is about a boy called Casper and his mother gets cancer and it's just really, really hard hitting. Then we have Radeloos, which is about a boy called Paco. Um, he ends up going through some horrible stuff with his dad. His life spirals out of control after that. And there's also a girl in this who struggles with an eating disorder. So yeah, very, very hard hitting. Then we have Afblijven, which translates into stay away, um, don't touch, that kind of stuff. Um, this is about a girl, uh, Melissa, who gets into the dance scene. And with that, she also gets into drugs, um, which is incredibly hard hitting. And her friend Jordi is trying to get her on the right path again, but she will not listen. And it's just, it's really, really, really intense. Then we have Razend, which translates into Furious which is about a boy, Sven, and he gets abused at home by his dad, which is so incredibly hard hitting. Then we have this girl called Rosemarijn. Um, she gets touched and abused by one of her teachers, but nobody seems to believe her when she tells and speaks up about this. Um, and they pass cross um, very hard hitting indeed. The last one is Kappen, which translates into stop, cut it out, that kind of vibe. Um, this deals with making new friends that are not necessarily the best one, getting yourself into all sorts of situations you don't want to be in. Um, this deals a lot with like unnecessary violence, like attacking people for no fucking reason. We also have this called called Indra, who is sick, but no one seems to take her very seriously. Um, but yeah, also incredible, incredible heart hitting. I have one book left and that is my favorite book of my childhood. I have read this book many, many times. And honestly, I think if I would reread it again, I would cry again because this book is so incredibly heart hitting and I just cannot believe like how good this book is, but it is Achtergroepers huilen niet, which translates into eight graders don't cry. I think for us, Achtergroepers would translate into six graders. I'm not quite sure, but she has the age, I think she's 11, 12. That is the age that the main character, Aki, is. Um, this is so incredibly hard hitting because Aki is this amazing, amazing girl. She is so feisty and incredible. She's very much a tomboy. And then she gets leukemia. And this is her story and how she dealt with her disease throughout the last year before high school. This was so hard hitting, but also very funny because Aki is such an incredible person. I read this book so many times and I just never could not get enough of this book. This was my favorite book of my childhood. That was it. Those were all the books that I loved during my childhood. I would love to know if there's any Dutchies that are watching right now. Do you recognize some of these books? I will absolutely, absolutely love to know. Tell me what your favorite books were in your childhood. I would love to know. Let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, could you please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for your continued support. You honestly mean the world to me. I'm gonna leave you now, but I hopefully will be back soon with another video. Bye!